What's up guys? So this week's video, I went down to St. Augustine a couple months ago actually, uh, just now getting around to publishing the video. I visited some family. Uh, where I was staying there was a saltwater pond which was pretty cool, got to fish it a little bit. Uh, so in there is some mixed footage, like some from my cell phone when I was just kind of messing around. And the beginning of it's at night, so just bear with kind of a dark screen for a minute. Um, I did some kayak fishing. I couldn't really get the tide schedule down uh, just when I was available to fish. So didn't really have much luck. I uh, caught one fish, which is in the video. Uh, but the big part of that is what you saw in the thumbnail, which is the bird uh, slight injure and rescue. Anyway, check it out. It was a pretty cool little few minutes. Uh, hung out with him. And uh, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up below. Please subscribe and support the channel. Helps me out a lot. I won't hold you guys up anymore. Let's go catch some fish. There we go. I believe that's one of the snapper. I don't know how well this is going to show up on the GoPro night footage. I think it's a type of snapper. A little mutton snapper, I believe, maybe. I don't know my salt species as much. It's sticking those fins up. Not bad. Right at the edge of the water. That's the mutton. And that other one was a different kind. Alright, there's another. I believe that's the mutton snapper. You saltwater guys, and if you leave me a comment below, let me know which is which. There we go. Got him. Oh, that's a new kind. I haven't seen that back here before. I think that's a mangrove snapper. So different species than what I'm used to seeing back here. I've seen mutton snapper. I'm not an expert, but I think from pictures I've seen. I believe that's a mangrove. All right. Another nice fish to add to the collection. Leave again, mangrove snapper, I believe is what that is. All right, guys, back at the pond. I didn't have my GoPro on me, but I managed to snag another nice tarpon out of here. Believe it or not, using crappie magic. We'll get him back in the water. This is not going to be good. So this bird swam into my line. It's not hooked or anything yet, but I don't know what I'm going to do. So I was getting off of the bird. It's really bad if a fish actually hit my lure right now. Okay, so cut that loose. So hopefully he'll be all right. Hey little guy, Let's see if we can't get this line off of you now that there's no hook on it at least. 
and I wrap it around my other jig, of course, because that's what happens to me. So, luckily we got away without real incident here. He's just hanging onto my bag now. Do you want to be friends now? You want to be friends, buddy? I think I tired him out, because he's just hanging onto my bag. I'm afraid he's gonna like bite me. Otherwise I would gladly be his friend. Do you want a free ride because of what I did? I understand. <laughs> he's literally just holding on to my bait bag. I mean, he's not really struggling, I don't think, anymore. Unless his claws are stuck in my bag. He's not telling me. Are you hungry? I was trying to fish today, but since you're here, would you care for a shrimp for your trouble? I don't know where he's going, but he's getting awfully close to me. I just don't want to get bit. Probably another five minutes. The only thing I can think is that he got worn out trying to get out of the water and used all his energy swimming. So he's just looking for a safe place to hang out. Do you like a shrimpy? Oh, he let me pet him. He let me pet him. We're friends now. There's no going back. It's you and me for life, but... Yeah, I think he's just tired. Because he was swimming really hard to get off of my line. I'm just glad I didn't get him hooked. So, we'll let him hang out as long as he needs. In at least 15 minutes, I got a piece of shrimp out. And my friend's still hanging out here. You awake? Oh, my friend seems to be better. He's chirping at me now. Oh, my friend tried to take off. Looks like he's not... He's not getting there. I don't know if his wing's just not doing well. Oh, he did poop on my backpack, though. Very nice of him. He's climbed back aboard. I guess his wing's just not doing the best, maybe. My line, I don't know, cut into him and I can't see it a little bit. So, you're okay as long as you hang out with me, buddy. All right. He just pooped on me. Everything has to poop on me. Why? Hmm? Yeah, he finally flew away. Oh, that's an alligator. Oh, I've encountered my first. Florida gator right over there. Saw something moving in the water, thought maybe it was a fish. It was not a fish. There we go. Finally, like three hours later, I got a fish. I've been out here for like three hours searching, trying everything. And I finally have a fish. I'm assuming is a redfish. He is fighting. Oh no, it's a flounder. I got a flounder. He just splashed me so much. First flounder I've ever caught and I am stoked, especially after 
as slow as a day as it's been. I've been back here, figured I'd be catching redfish. No such luck. Oh, they got teeth too. Everything saltwater has to have teeth. Can't lip anything. He's jumping. All right. I don't know exactly how I picked these guys up, so I'm not gonna try. But hopefully that's a good shot for the camera. I guess I'm gonna measure him out and see if we can keep him. I don't know the regulation, so I'll be back. All right, as I thought, he's definitely a keeper. So he's gonna go in the cooler. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, had a fun time, it was great visiting my family. Um, hopefully next time I'll have some better luck, but for now, we'll catch you guys later.